Are you using one of these summertime fertilizers? I suggest you stop because they will burn your lawn. If you put that on your lawn, you'll burn it with that garbage. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything that's going on in the backwoods. Now before I get started, I just want to give a huge shout out and a massive thank you to George from Princess Cut Lawn Care for allowing me to use some of his clips in my video just to elaborate on something that he was talking about. I will leave a link down to that video in the description and a link to his channel so you guys make sure you check it out and subscribe to him. He's a cool dude makes awesome content, and he knows what he's talking about. All right, so I won't go as far as to call these products garbage like George did. However, he's just looking out for your best interest because these products with the high nitrogen content can be extremely detrimental to your lawn. If you apply them when you're in a drought, heat stress, you're going to toast your lawn. He's not wrong. However, if you are going to apply this stuff when your lawn isn't dormant, you've had some rain, there's a little bit of moisture, and it's still looking lush, it doesn't look like it's going brown or anything like that, you can absolutely apply this product and get a great result. You don't need to worry about that, but don't apply it in a drought or heat stress or anything like that. Don't do it. Sir, with the extreme temperatures we're having, people's lawns will burn, wither away, and die. You're fired. So that's how my lawn's looking after a three week heat wave where the temperatures were in the mid to high 90s. That is extreme heat, we had no rain. That is an extremely stressful time for your lawn. However, mine didn't go dormant, so I applied it and that's how it's looking. I applied a full ray to this, a full ray. It looks just fine. You may have to mow a little bit more. But this is where George is right. You do need your potassium and your phosphorus. That's a 62424. You need that so your lawn can actually withstand stressful points in the year. It absolutely helps and it's recommended to do. So a full rate of this and a half rate of that, all in one shot. I loaded my lawn with this kind of fertilizer and it's not burnt but I did it at the right time. So as long as you're selective with the timing, you can have good results. It's not garbage, you just gotta be careful how you use it. So if you know you have some cooler temperatures coming, you're gonna get some rain, then yeah, apply this, you'll be just fine. But absolutely make sure you get your potassium and phosphorus down as well, just to help balance it and help the grass actually be able to withstand some of the diseases, the heat stress all of that good stuff that you get in the lawn. I hope you found this video helpful and to clear up some of that foggy air about summer fertilizing because you do need to do it in the right conditions and using a mix of a high nitrogen as long as you're getting your other micronutrients in there to help it out through the stress, you'll be just fine. Just not in a drought, not in a heat wave, make sure it's a little bit cooler and you'll be fine. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like the content and make sure you go over and check out George's channel because it is awesome. Again, the link will be down in the description. We'll see you in the next one.